Hi guys, good morning. It is currently 9.30 a.m. I've had the most productive day. I went to Barry's Bootcamp for a workout this morning. And for those of you who don't know what that is, Barry's Bootcamp is like this really hardcore workout where you like run on the treadmill really fast and then you do weights and all this stuff. And I went to that at 7.30 in the morning and I came back and I had so much energy and I was like, I'm gonna film a video. So I wanted to sit down and film with you guys as I get ready for the day. I have a bunch of running around, a few meetings today, a lunch date. So I wanted to do a really pretty, fresh, beautiful makeup. And I saw this picture. This is someone that I've been loving their work lately. It was a picture of Shay Mitchell. Yes, another Shay Mitchell look. And the makeup artist Patrick Ta. Whenever they work together, they create beautiful, beautiful looks. So this was the look that inspired me. And she had this kind of gorgeous bronzy lid, but glossy, this beautiful red lip. I'm gonna start with a little bit of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I have never used this before, but I saw it in somebody's video. And I was like, oh, I have that. I should try it. <laughs> Ooh, what happened? I feel like I missed my face. Yeah, that feels so nice. And I am using my Kapari Coconut Oil Coconut Balm. I am obsessed with this brand, Kapari. If you guys haven't tried it, you have to try it. Their stuff is so good. If you're a fan of coconut, you're going to love all of their products. This balm, I use it for my lips and my lips. I went and got a facial the other day and my esthetician said that I have the smoothest lips ever. <laughs> Her words, not mine. And I was like, oh, I wonder if it's from the Kapari that I've been using. You literally have to stop yourself from eating it because it tastes so good. <laughs> For primer, I'm using the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer. This is their oil-free one, which is great for me because I have oily skin. But if you have dry skin, definitely pick the right texture primer for you. This feels so nice. Oh, I love this. I sometimes love prepping my skin more than actually applying the makeup. For foundation, I am using the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. This has definitely become one of my favorite foundations. And the reason for that is I love how hydrating it is. Like I know it says hydrating in the name, but it really, wah, really is hydrating. I'm actually gonna try this. I don't know if this is gonna work or not. I'm using the primer water and I'm going to spray my beauty blender, but let's see. I'm just gonna soak my beauty blender with this. I have never done this before. <laughs> I'm just too lazy to go up and wet my beauty blender. Let's see if this works. Okay, well, it's definitely soaked. But yes, this foundation just gives the most beautiful, natural, dewy, dewy finish. So when I want that type of texture, I usually go for a foundation that I know is very hydrating. And I know I keep calling this the Beauty Blender, but it's not, guys. I'm sorry, this is not the Beauty Blender. This is the sponge from L'Oreal. I should find out what it's actually called because it works so well. And I've been using this more than my Beauty Blender, actually. Plus, it's like $7, I think. So much more affordable. I'm using the Bobbi Brown Concealer Palette. I love this palette because it has the powder as well. So I'm using the cream first. And I really like this concealer as well because it's thicker. And I've been for sure feeling like this combo of applying a thick pot concealer first. So when a concealer is in a pot, it tends to be thicker. And then applying over it a creamy concealer. And I feel like that gives so much coverage. I'm also taking a little bit just to conceal areas where I have redness. I usually have like a little bit around my nose. You guys could see like I have like darkness around my mouth. I'm just gonna get rid of that. And I'm going over that concealer now with a creamy concealer. This one is from Smashbox and it's the counterpart to the foundation. This is the Studio Skin. 24 hour waterproof concealer. I love the fact that it's waterproof. That just means it's gonna last all day. And this color is perfect. This is the light warm. It has this really pretty kind of golden undertone to it. For contour today, I am using this brand new palette that I just got 
from BH Cosmetics. Check this out, guys. So these are all creams. So you have all of your contour colors and your highlight colors, and these are correcting colors. So you have the orange to correct any discoloration. And I like that it has the warm tones and the more cool tones, so you can pick the perfect color for you, or you could even mix and match, which I personally love to do. You guys know I love mixing colors. So I'm starting all the way from the top of my ears and just bringing that down. It's so funny how anytime I tell someone that I'm a makeup artist, the first thing they always ask me is, how do I contour? Just blend that out. The most important thing when you are contouring and highlighting, guys, is that you want to make sure that it looks natural. You never want to actually be able to see any harsh lines, so just make sure you blend everything really well. Time to set everything. I am using my Lancome Matte Neutral Dual Finish Powder. This is probably been my go-to powder for a while now. I know that everybody loves the whole baking with a loose powder thing, but I don't know why it is just not my favorite. I personally prefer a pressed powder. I think it just looks better on my skin. I don't know, I feel like you kind of have to just try different things and see what works for you. I want my skin to look super, super bronzy for this makeup because you guys saw the picture of Shay. Her skin just looks so beautiful. I am in no way tanned at all right now. I don't know how that's possible considering I live in LA. You would think I would have a bit more color, but what I'm gonna do is I'm using the BH Cosmetics Totally Tan Bronzer, which has a beautiful tone to it with a big brush and I'm just gonna go in guys I'm actually gonna start just from my collarbone and my neck because I am quite light on my chest you definitely don't have to do this stuff but I'm gonna add a little bit of color here which you totally can do and you could also add shimmer on your collarbone which looks super super pretty just using this all over my face but kind of keeping that sh idea of the shape of the number three. So starting from the temple, cheekbone, jawline. Temple, cheekbone, jawline. I'm actually gonna use this on my eyes. So I wanna take a really big fluffy brush, starting from the outer corner, working this in, blending it out. See how it kind of gives your eye a natural contour? but it won't look like you have like a lot of eyeshadow on. That's kind of the vibe. So, because once you put the gloss on, it's gonna make it more about the gloss than about the eyeshadow. But we want a little bit of something underneath before we put the gloss. Okay, and then whatever's left over on your brush, just sweep it along the lower lashes. I like to kind of start from the outer corner because that's where I want the most product to be and then just blend inwards whatever is left. So for highlight, I'm using a brand new product. I've never tried this before, but I got it and I was like, I have to try this. I have to do a look just for this. This is the Peter Thomas Roth 24 Gold All Over Self-Adjusting Illuminator and Highlighter. So <laughs> let's try this out. Of course, if you don't have this, it's just a cream highlighter. Another great option, these ones I love right now, the ones from NYX, it's the Away We Glow highlighters. These are beautiful and they come in a bunch of different shades. Great alternative, so if you don't have this one, you can use any cream highlighter. I am using a brush just to have a bit more control. <gasps> that is pretty, guys. That is really, really pretty. Because I want the skin to be really highlighted, I'm applying the cream first, and then I'm gonna go over with powder. I'm also taking it on my brow bone, which is my nose, just all the areas where you usually wanna highlight. Definitely the inner corner. Just to compare, I wanna show you guys how the NYX Away We Glow looks because I'm a huge fan of this highlighter as well and I think it's beautiful. So I'm gonna, just gonna show you guys quickly on my lid. It's a really, really, okay, this color is the Daytime Halo, which is like perfect for a daytime glow. The color is really, really beautiful. I filled in my brows super quickly and for the gloss, this is what I'm using, the Maybelline Shine Shot. This is a lip 
top coat. Let's see how this looks. This is so pretty. I love this look for summer. I think a glossy lid with like a bold lip is one of my favorite, favorite makeup trends. So I hope you guys try it out. <laughs> so you wanna basically take it up to your crease but not too much farther than that. So like kind of when you move your eye around, it picks up the light and you could tell how glossy it is. We are gonna add lashes to this look. You definitely don't have to if you don't want to. But I'm going to. <laughs> For the lashes, I'm using the Demi Wispy Lashes. I got a big pack of them because I feel like I go through these so much. So this is a pack of six. Maybe that'll last me a week. <laughs> Probably one of my favorite thing about these lashes is that I never have to cut them because the length is always perfect. So if you're like in a hurry and you just want to throw lashes on quickly, these are for sure like some of my faves. For the lip color, I'm using this color from Nude Sticks. This is the Intense Matte Lip and Cheek Pencil in Royal. I feel like the matte is a lot more wearable for red rather than a glossy. So if you don't love a red lip, maybe try a matte one and that might change your mind. This is super matte, but I love it. And a little bit of cleanup with a Q-tip and maybe some concealer. Oh my God, I just remembered, if you guys haven't seen my boyfriend does my makeup video that I just posted with Alex, he attempted to do a red lip on me and it did not go well. Let's just say, I will link the video for you guys because it was so funny. My red lip was definitely better than his. <laughs> All right, so now that the lips are done, I feel like we can do blush. This is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Blend Sheer Highlighting Blush. And I love how this is kind of like, has this pinky tone to it, which goes beautiful with the colors that we have right now. And then we can go over that with a bit of bronzer. So we're getting the best of both and I'm using the same bronzer from before, the BH Cosmetics Totally Tan Bronzer. I am doing a special glow giveaway where I'm giving away very similar products to what I use today so you guys can recreate this look at home. All you have to do to enter is be subscribed to my channel and then in the comments below, just leave the glow emoji and let me know what your favorite part of this look was. Also, super exciting news. I am doing a meetup in LA on Sunday, April 8th. If you're in the LA area, I would love it if you can come by and say hi and I get to meet you in person. I will have all the details and a lot more info about the meetup coming up on my social channel. So make sure you follow me on Instagram at Iman and I'll put all the other info in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you haven't seen the boyfriend does my makeup video, I'm gonna link it for you right here and I will see you in another video very soon. Bye.